Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk continuing with our trigonometry uh, graph lessons and this is where we got up to last lesson we gave you guys a general formula for all periodic waves and uh, basically if you have an equation in this form y equals a times a periodic function of b times x plus c bracket plus d uh, then a will be the amplitude uh, 2 pi over b will be the period uh, c divided by b will be the horizontal translation and d will be the vertical translation and one more thing that I need to add is if a is negative then the amplitude is still A, but the graph will be upside down. So it'll be a, a reflection uh, in the x-axis. Okay, so uh, how do we uh, use this information to solve real-life problems? So here is a real-life problem, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, but feel free to have a go at it yourself first. So the question is, the, the temperature, T degrees Celsius, during one day is modeled by um, the sine curve. T equals negative 10 times sine bracket pi T, of, pi T over 12 bracket plus 15. Where lowercase t is the time in hours and T equals 0 indicates midnight. Find the maximum and minimum temperature during the 24 hours and the times of day they occur. Now, there are two ways to do this. Right? The easiest way is to just type this equation into a graphing program, get the graph, and then you can pretty much answer this straight away. Right? But um, rather than doing that, we want to work a few things out. right? Because uh, it's always easier to work it out. Um, algebraically and uh, just get the numbers from there and then draw the graph okay so the way you work it out is alright firstly you notice that here's a sine function okay now regardless of what is inside the bracket regardless of what's the input uh, if you have a sine curve y equals sine theta the maximum y value is going to be 1 and the minimum y value is going to be negative 1 for a sine curve so for this section here okay if we get rid of everything else then this section here the maximum value is going to be 1 and the minimum value is going to be negative 1 right regardless of what t is you can think of any number you want for t Okay, you put it into this function, the po maximum possible value is 1, the minimum possible value is negative 1. So, to figure out the maximum value, the maximum temperature, okay, the maximum temperature is going to occur when sine of pi t over 12 is equal to what? will equal negative 1 right why is that? because if it is equal to negative 1 then negative 10 t equals negative 10 times negative 1 plus 15 and that will give us um, 10 plus 15 which will be equal to 25 degrees there is no other possible value of sine theta okay that will give us a higher temperature than 25 degrees now if the temperature highest temperature is 25 degrees and um, this happens when sine theta equals negative 1. This means that we can then use that to work out what T is. Alright, so then we're going to inverse sine, inverse sine negative 1, 
Now, when you inverse sine negative 1, what do you get? Okay, so you need to draw the unit circle. Right, or you can draw the sine wave, whichever one works better for you. All right, if you draw the sine wave, um, it starts at 0 here. So here's x, here's sine x. The curve is sine, uh, here's y. And starting at 0 here, it goes up, down, up, down. And starting at zero, uh, then we go to pi. Uh, sorry, pi is here. Pi over two is here. Uh, two pi is here. Uh, three over two pi is here. All right, and then uh, we can see that um, at y is equal to negative one which is at this point here x is equal to 3 pi over 2 now obviously there are other possibilities right because if we keep going with the curve we're going to get over here we're going to get um, 2.5 pi and then we have 3 pi and then we have 3.5 pi which is the same as 7 pi over 2 so we'll get 7 pi over 2 right that will be the set second time when y reaches negative 1 so these are the possible answers and then to get what t is we simply multiply each one by 12 and divide it by pi so it'll be 3 times 12 uh, pi divided by 2 times pi, all right? Because uh, to get rid of this pi over 12, we need to multiply each one by 12 and divide it by pi on each one. So we will get um, we will get uh, 18, and then the second one we will get. Uh, what is that? 7 times 12 pi over 2 pi. So that's gone. And uh, we'll get 42. So t is going to be equal to 18 and 42. Now, 42 is beyond one day, right? 42 hours. So we're just going to get 18 hours. So time is going to be equal to 1800 hours or 6 p.m. right 6 p.m. is when we will experience the maximum temperature right so the maximum temperature of 25 degrees occurs at 6 p.m. Okay, so similarly, okay, what is the um, distance or what is the time difference between the um, between the maximums between the maximum temperature occurring? So the period is equal to right from one minimum to another minimum right the time it takes between one minimum to another minimum is the period so it's going to be 42 minus 18 is going to be 24 hours is the period right so therefore uh, if you guys uh, remember for a sine curve right any sort of sine curve if we have the maximum and the minimum right the time it takes to go from a maximum to the minimum will be half the period okay because from one maximum to another maximum uh, that will be the whole period 
This distance here will be the whole period. So here will be half a period from a maximum to a minimum. So therefore, we can simply go a half a period is 12 hours. Right, so we can simply get the time for a maximum. So uh, 1800 hours minus 12 hours. So t equals 18. So 18 minus 12 is equal to 6. And this is the time at which the minimum temperature occurs. All right, time at which the minimum temperature occurs when T is equal to 6. And if T is equal to 6, uh, so sine of pi times t over 12 equals uh, well it's going to equal 1 All right we already know that because when um, sine theta is equal to 1 okay when sine theta is equal to 1 negative 10 times 1 is negative 10 plus 15 is 5 so uh, uh, yeah, so what am I doing? I don't really need to do this. I can simply just put um, at minimum temperature sine pi uh, sine theta is equal to 1. So substituting 1 into that equation, T equals uh, copying the original equation, it'll get we will get t equals negative 10 times 1 plus 15 which is negative 10 plus 15 which is uh, 5 degrees Celsius so the final answer maximum temperature 25 degrees Celsius occurs at 6 p.m. and minimum temperature 5 degrees occurs at 6 a.m. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you understand what I'm doing. Uh, see you guys next